Hello everyone, this is Flohio117 here, and I'm here to introduce to you the Blackout Mini H Quad. You can get it at uh, miniHquad.com. It is a work of art. It really is a beautiful quad. I mean, the design is perfect. It fits, basically, it fits all normal size gear onto a very small platform. I mean, this is an awesome quad. I originally started flying with the uh, recommended setup um, a couple months ago which was 2 cell um, 1500 nanotech 35 to 70 C and I instantly hated it because it was way too weak for me um, if you see how I normally fly I fly pretty crazy and I like to have that extra cushion of power if I need it and uh, when I was flying 2 cell uh, basically I would dive out of the sky and then when I went to pull up, I didn't really have enough power and it would kind of wobble and I would almost hit the ground. I could, I barely saved it a couple times. I didn't really like the 2 cell setup, but for most people, 2S on these 1306 motors is um, plenty good enough. I mean, th these motors are tiny and uh, the 3100 kV and uh, on the 5 inch props on, on 2S on these motors, most people will love it and they have a, a great time flying it. It's just, it, it just felt way too weak for me. So I flew it for probably six flights on two cell and then I chopped my props down to five inch props that are chopped down to four inches. And um, I flew on 3S with these 3100 kV motors and I loved it. It, 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 it flew probably like a four cell quad, a four cell like hover things flip, you know, it had it had power, it was still good, you know, I, I liked it, it was actually flyable to me, uh, how I fly, so it was still fun, you know, but it still lacked a little bit of power, I was still wanting more, like, I don't know, I guess after a while I started punching out, like I just tried to do punches and go kind of high and stuff like that, it, I just felt kind of weak. I didn't put the Mobius on it, and it flew great, and then as soon as I put this Mobius on there, which is, let's see how much it weighs, it is an extra 38 grams. Um, that was a huge difference, and it felt sluggish again to me, and I didn't really like it. So I basically flew it without the Mobius on it, and it flew okay. So then, you know, a lot of people were were really wanting these uh, these new a uh, uh, more powerful motor and stuff, and they were looking around, and uh, Blackout had some. He talked to T Motor and had um, them make some custom make some 1806 um, 2300 kV motors, and uh, I got those on here now, and it's a huge difference to me. It's actually how the quad should have always been flown, but like I said, I like a little bit more power than most people like, and you know, so if you if you just want if you're a, a new person getting into it, um, I'd say like you know if this is your first quad and you just like to relax fly and you know it's just a neat little thing because it's small to you I say maybe try these motors on 2S and you, you might love it but if you're a person that likes power like me then you you definitely got to get the 1806 2300 kV motors uh, they definitely make it a lot more fun let's break down what I really have on here I got the 1806 the T motor MN 1806 motors on here with their 2300 kV um, from blackout they got the little blackout um, logo on there and then uh, I have a ready-made RC 700 XV camera on here I also have an LC filter on here um, because I was getting pretty dirty uh, video because it was all powered off of one battery so I put an LC filter on there and that helped me clean it up I have a uh, 8 channel uh, what is this I got it from Hobby King it's an 8 channel receiver that's uh, 2.4 and it works with my high tech Aurora 9 radio. It's just a small receiver that fits in there and I like it because it's small and it fits all, it, it makes everything fit in there pretty clean. Um, works great. Uh, then I have a Hobby King Blue Series 12 amp Simon K Flash ESCs on there. Those ESCs are awesome. They don't get warm at all during the flights. The motor's completely, completely cold after all, all the flights I've done so far. They're perfect. I love that. I originally had a CC3D on here as my flight controller, and if you can see that now, I have a pink 
Nazi 32 on there. The Nazi 32 flies this frame flawlessly. I'm talking insanely locked in. Manual mode, all you gotta do is just give it throttle, it lifts up completely flat. No oscillations or anything. Um, when, when you, when you uh, put any inputs into it, whatever angle you leave it at in manual mode, it stays exactly there. It doesn't even, doesn't even like have a hiccup or anything. Um, you can flip on a dime. Um, you know, I've done some, I practiced some new tricks and stuff, FPV with it, and uh, it's done them all flawlessly. I, I can't believe how awesome this flight controller flies. I have everything wired in here, soldered in, so that as soon as I plug in one 3S battery, it powers my video camera, my video receiver or transmitter, and uh, you know all the electronics with the quad. So that that keeps it pretty simple. Um, here's the different batteries I've flown it with. Um, here's a two cell 1500. Like I said, this is probably the battery you're gonna buy if you're gonna go two cell route in these motors. Um, I've flown it with an 850 3S. I've flown it with a 1000 3S. I've flown it with 1350 3S, and I've flown it with the 1800 3S. Um, with each with these motors and with these motors with these motors the 1306 is on uh, 3S you have to have a very high C rating battery to fly for anything more than like two minutes basically um, these 25C batteries right here could not cut it like it would fly for two minutes and even on this 1800 with no Mobius on there which is basically a 1000 with the Mobius that's the weight of it um, it would only fly for like three minutes and then if I put a 1350 on there I might get two and a half three minutes of flight and that's without a Mobius camera um, so you gotta have a higher C battery at least 35 C to you know and if, you, if you're more uh, on the throttle like I am I'd say go 45 C if you're gonna stay with these 1306 motors um, on the flip side these 1806's I've flown with each of these batteries also and these two 25C batteries, the 1000 and 1350, flew it for about two and a half minutes, maybe three minutes. The, the 850 flew it for three minutes. It's a 25 to 40C. Um, I guess the weight difference just helped out there. And then the 1800 is a 25C and believe it or not, I flew this thing for 10 minutes, a little, like I think like 10 and a half minutes of actual flying on this quad and that was with a Mobius on it. So, you know, you gotta think, that's a lot of weight right there and it flew for 10, a little over 10 minutes. Um, and I, I was actually doing uh, quite a bit of, you know, um, throttle pumps in there too, um, you know, but if you're, the longer you're on the throttle, obviously the less you're gonna fly. But if you're staying down low and you're zipping through trees, um, you should have no problem doing 10 minutes on that on that pack. Um, honestly, I'm, I'm gonna buy a couple 1500, um, 35 to 70 C batteries, they're 3S, and try those, because I like to be on the throttle more. But I'm, I'm expecting to get it probably around the same amount of flight time, maybe eight minutes, which is still fine. Um, like I said though, this, this 1800, uh, Zippy Compact 25C, a little over 10 minutes of flight time, which is pretty crazy on a, on a frame this small. Um, so I'll give you all the weight of it right now. This is with 1806s on there. It weighs 339 grams. So the 1806s definitely add a little bit of weight when compared to the 1306s, but the power that's added by them is. You, you have to do it in my opinion. I I, I can't really fly it with these anymore. I, I don't like those motors on this frame. But, you know, that's just my preference. Um, anyways, the kit comes with two Scorpion um, small little uh, Velcro straps that, you know, you can use a strap on your battery, which is pretty nice. Um, I fly with 1.3, so I have the uh, Laser BGC um, built-in uh, 1.3 module for my uh, dominators and this makes it really awesome because basically you're taking the, everything that the 5.8 guys um, you know love about their compactness and now you just upped it to you know 1280 megahertz so now you can shoot through 
more trees and things that they can't even shoot through because 5.8 can't penetrate through it and you're doing it all in a small uh, you know a small form factor you know you just grab your goggles you grab your quad and a couple of batteries and you know your radio now you're out in the field and you don't have this big ground station and stuff like that that's uh always uh, messing with you with the 1280 um, video band and stuff like that so you know that makes this quad a lot more enjoyable also this thing is probably the most fun I've ever had in the multi-rotor world the things you can do with this quad are, are insane I mean you gotta think basically when you're looking out this quad and you're flying it FPV whatever you see just try to shoot for it because you, you can pretty much fit there I mean it's, it's that small I mean I've flown through some pretty tight spots with it already that I would never even attempt to do with my bigger quads um, another great thing is about it is it's so light that it's basically indestructible I mean well for one it's carbon fiber so it's already insanely strong and then two uh, it's so light that when it hits anything it just basically flops in, in the grass or whatever and doesn't hurt it um, which uh, brings me to another thing you know I've, I've, I've been flying this thing and I've had some some wrecks with it and everything and it's you pick it up and it's completely fine the only thing I've ever broken a wreck was a prop you know the I've had my um, I've had my uh, low pass filter come unscrewed and it, it flipped into a prop and from about 40 to 50 feet up and it flipped over midair and just hit the ground you know and literally I just went out there picked it back up replaced the prop tightened the filter back on ready to go again you know so you can't really say that for for most quads um, you know if that was my bigger quads you know I would have probably lost about you know 80 to 100 bucks in parts and stuff like that so you're, you know that's the great thing about this thing it's so small and so light it's pretty much indestructible you know uh, I also I don't fly it with the feet that they come with because I don't like flying quads with feet um, I feel like it's another um, thing that can basically get snagged on things like when you're flying low or through things you know that's just all it is is basically another thing it can possibly get caught so I don't like flying with feet on any of my quads I like just having a flat um, profile like that so I know that you know basically anything I see with my camera I can shoot through it and not get snagged if you are a very new person at, into FPV um, I highly recommend this quad just because I feel you will progress a lot faster with something like this versus a 450 size quad the reason being is you can practice things with this quad that you would never do with your bigger quad because you're afraid of breaking something whereas if you have this quad, you know, you're not as scared to attempt new things because if you if you do wreck or something like that, you're not gonna the, the chances of you breaking something are, are a lot less and you know if you do break a prop, you know, I think they're maybe four bucks for a pack of four or something, if that, you know. So I mean, you know, don't quote me on that price, but they're pretty cheap for props, so you know, you can buy four props for the price you buy, you know, one ten inch prop. So that's another thing to think about if you're a new person getting into this. If you, you know, if you're already an uh, experienced FPV flyer, I would definitely say um, at least do 3S on these motors. If you need more power than that, or if you just like power in general, definitely do the 1806s. Um, it's a huge difference. Uh, if you're not planning on flying with the Mobius camera, then you know these on 3S on four-inch props are plenty of power for most people. I mean, you know. It's all into really what you want. Uh, if you just don't feel like upgrading your motors later and you just want to have a lot of power or, you know, ease into your learning experience or whatever, I guess I would say go with the 1806 2300 KV from uh, Blackout. The the great things about this quad are, you know, it's, it's small yet fits real world electronics on it, um, you know, that you can actually fly, you know, a, you know decently you know you got you got you know decent range you know you got plenty of power and uh, you know you have real FPV gear you know on this on this crank on this uh, frame so you know that's definitely a, a pro of this frame another pro is it's basically indestructible um, obviously everything in the world's breakable if, if you hit hard enough I mean if this thing fell from you know 600 feet onto concrete you know you're probably gonna break some stuff but for the most part, you know, you can wreck in grass all day and you're not really going to break anything. So that's another great thing. I guess one of the, the downsides to it is it is a kind of a, a pricey frame. 
and when you, when you think of the, the small form factor to it, you know, it, it does have a, a higher price point. But honestly, in this one, I, I truly believe, you know, you, you pay for what you get. Um, you're paying a higher price point, but you got to think of it this way. Chances of you breaking something on this frame, you know, are, are pretty slim. So you, you can pretty much be safe to say that you're going to pay, you know, the price of this frame and not have to worry about replacing a part ever, you know. So that, that's a great thing about that, whereas, you know, you buy some $100 frames or, you know, 80 to, you know, $120 frames or, you know, like a QAV or something, you can pretty much guarantee that when you crash, you're going to break something. So that's, that's one of the great things about that. It's pretty much a one-time buy. You don't have to buy anything else again. So that's, that's one, you know, it, it, it's kind of a, a downside that it's a little pricier, but you're definitely going to get your, your money's worth in the long run in the fact that it's, it's so durable, it's, you're not really going to break anything. So that's a great thing about it, really. Um, I, I really, I can't, I can't find a, a bad thing about it, to be honest with you. Uh, it really does what it was built for perfectly. Um, it's a beautiful quad, and uh, I'll put the link in the, descri the description to uh, where you can get it. And uh, thanks for watching.